So we're working on creating a Google Chrome extension with no coding knowledge, just using ChatGPT. And our goal is to make $250 a month from this. Then we'll grow from there. So last time, and if you missed that video, click here to go watch it. This is what we created. So we actually built the extension. Look at that. It's a random Bible verse. So we click up here. And we only have two verses in there, so a lot of times it's going to bring up the same one. And it's kind of ugly, you know, it's up there. It's just in this little tiny box. I think we can make it look a little better. So what we're going to look at today, we're going to make it look a little bit better. And then we're going to actually launch it to the Google Chrome extension store. And if you guys want, we can turn this into a full business. We'll start marketing it. We'll put some ads on it or something. We'll find a way to monetize it. But hit like. Comment down below if you want me to continue doing that. So three things we want to accomplish today. Number one, let's add some more Bible verses. Again, I'm going to use chat GPT. Currently, it's just hard coded into this popup.js. And if you wanted to make it real sophisticated, this could be an iteration that you do later. We could actually have it go to the Bible verse website and grab, pull it in. But for simplicity, what I'm going to do is here is my code, please generate how many should we do a hundred bible verses and references to put in that file 100 is quite a few and again i want to emphasize using being courteous to chat gpt there we go look at you look at that see chat gpt knows his scripture okay now that's good but i want it in this format this is going to be a little bit hard to turn in from what ChatGPT gave me. So can you output it in a format that I can put in the JavaScript array? That's what this uh, these brackets here are called. This is an array in that file. Let's generate, I think 100 is too many. Let's generate 35 verses. Let's see how ChatGPT does. Look at this. See, in the olden days, like last year, you would have had to do this manually. So I'm gonna copy that code, put it in here, and going to replace the current verse thing with this. The thing you'll notice is text is different here. That's because there's a quote in the verse, and ChatGPT didn't recognize that, so I just changed it to single quotes instead of double quotes, and it should work. All right, so let's go ahead and try that. I'm gonna refresh errors. Okay, so it was an old error. I'm not super familiar with Google Chrome extension. Now it's bringing up all these different verses. Okay, so we finished mission one. Now mission two is I would like this to maybe like pop up somewhere else and make it a little bigger. Okay, great. That is working now. When I click the extension, it is popping up the up near the extension buttons. Can I make it make the bull of the screen? Let's see what ChatGPT says. Certainly. I love ChatGPT's optimism. Certainly. Again, if you want to learn while you're going, I would recommend reading everything they say. If you're in a hurry, then you just copy and paste. We're going to a C CSS files. If you aren't familiar with that, that's called cascading style sheets. And that's what gives your HTML file some styling. Okay, so we're gonna create a new file. We're gonna call it popup.css and we're gonna paste this in. Okay, and then we're gonna update popup.js. Oh, your JavaScript code should remain the same. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's see what that does. So we'll reload and let's see what happens now. So it is bigger and it is kind of centered, but I was really wanting it more like, well, actually that's not too bad. Some of them, that's a little bit too small. Can I make the Mac, the minimum width and I actually have this Chrome extension that I use for measuring, but I'd like like a minimum of like 60 pixels. Certainly, again, that optimism. All right, so this is the new CSS. So again, if you wanna learn it, you can, but I'm just gonna copy and paste. Really all we added was min width 60, which is basically what I asked. Refresh, okay, so there, that's that should be 60. And maybe I wanna make it, let's make minimum 90. Just make it look a little nicer. So I'm still not liking totally the way that it's looking. So what you can do, a little, little trick, you can go here and click inspect. 
and then this shows you your see it so now you're getting becoming a hardcore coder again you can just mess around with it on your own but you can start changing this and it'll kind of show you so i might do like what happens if i do like 280 i'm gonna go back to my code change this to 280 fresh yeah there we go i like that i think that's pretty good i can just get a random bible verse whenever i want i can do all things through him who strengthens me amen okay awesome you are the bomb now how can i release this to the google chrome extension store prepare your extension okay i think it's ready to go it's functional polished free from free from bugs create a developer account oh it's five bucks for the one-time registration fee i was not aware of that okay you need to package your extension into a zip file to go to random bible verse extension and I think I should be able to go compress. There we go. Random Bible verse extension dot zip. Okay. Then we go to new item, drop your zip processing. Okay. So now we need to write a description. Random Bible verse displays a random Bible verse when clicked. Can you write a, an awesome description of this Chrome extension? And then I'm going to, you know, put what they said, focus on explaining what the item does and how users should install it. Description. There we go. Can it be this long? Cool. Category, well-being. Select the language it is in English, United States. So I'll just do English. doesn't matter. Store icon, 128 by 128. We're going to just use that 120 by 121. Then it says it needs some screenshots. So I'm going to just take a quick screenshot. Uh, it needs to be 1280 by 800. My 120 by 120 icon isn't going to work either. Convert 120 by 120 to 128 by 120. I could do this in Photoshop, but I'm hoping there's an easier way. Download JS. Let's see if that works. Boom. Then the screenshot needs to be 1280 by 800. So let's bring that up. Let's do that. Convert image to 1280 by 800. Okay. Let me try to put it in there again. We could do marketing materials if we really wanted to. Cool. 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 Now, why can't I submit? Save draft. Okay. So there's a few things I have to do before we can submit. A justification for active tab is required. I don't even know what that means. Privacy. Single purpose description. Oh, I'll just have chat GPT write this. I'm very lazy. I don't know if you guys had realized this over the years. The Google store is asking for, that rhymes. Can you write this for this extension? Sometimes ChatGPT has problems with pronouns, but no, it did good. Okay. Close this, close this, single purpose. Um, permissions, either one of, I'm not using any remote code. Active tab justification. Okay, there we go. Give me something to put in there. Um, privacy policy, save draft, let's see. What else do I need? Okay, there's some things I have to certify. I don't collect any data. I do not sell, I do not use, I do not use or transfer. I'm not doing anything with data. Go to contact email. Where do I put the contact email? Okay, it says view, you must verify your email on the account tab, which I do not see anywhere. Oh, there we go. Publisher display name, I'll do James Pelton. Add an email jpelton722 at gmail.com. Feel free to shoot me an email. Verify that email. Okay, I confirm my email. If I don't need to give an, an address, I think I'd rather not. Save draft. What else do I need? Submit for review, yay. And then publish random Bible verse automatically after it is passed review. And first write a contact email. Did I not do that? I did, so there's a bug. Maybe I just need to save it, save it. Why can't I submit? Can't see, now this is a bug in Google. Submit for review. Submit for review. Your extension was submitted for review. You may check the status. Cool. So now this is being reviewed for the Google Chrome store. Once it's approved, we can go ahead and start marketing to come up with a way to monetize it, whether we maybe we put some little ads at the bottom or we could just ask for donations. I mean, this isn't a super helpful tool, so it's not like you know, I can't charge 25 bucks a month or something like that. But let me know what you think. What are some ways that we could monetize this? I'll create another video kind of building that business. Maybe we can build a website. I mean, we can keep this going if you guys want. So hit like, let me know down in the comments below. Appreciate you guys and have a great rest of your day.